Hello, YouTube. Uh, this is my 1956 Oldsmobile Rocket 88 four-door sedan. Um, I imported this a few months ago. Uh, it's got the original uh, Rocket 324 motor in it, which is what made me uh, buy this, really, is the fact that it's original. Uh, eventually, I did get it started after draining the fuel tank and cleaning all the lines. But it was lumpy, it was noisy. Um, I took the carburetor apart, rebuilt the, the carb. It's only a two barrel carb, uh, which is it sat under here. You can see that. Um, rebuilt that, put it all back on, <clears throat> and it ran. And it wasn't so bad. And um, I left it running for about half an hour, let it warm up, so I knew it hadn't been done for a long, long time. Shut it off, came back to it a couple of hours later, and no joy, just wouldn't start. Has never started since. Been through all the electrical system, we've changed the distributor, well, the, the cap, the rotors, the points. Um, I've changed the uh, coil, the condenser, the plugs. You name it, I've changed it. Still wouldn't start. And yes, we got Spark. I've checked all that. Um, so then I upped it to uh, electronic ignition. And still wouldn't start. So, uh, <clears throat> talking to a mate of mine who's, who's had uh, a lot of Olsen bills in his time, said about... Um, you know, it could be the valves or more likely the hydraulic lifters. So, having pulled all this top off, uh, we've found that the, the lifters were stuffed, basically. The, they're all rounded out on the bottom. They froze solid. Um, and the uh, cam, which I can't show you in this light, it looks like a dog's chewed it up. <laughs> so that's got to come out. Um, I think, possibly that the timing slipped, um, but it's, all the time has got to come out to, to do the cam, but to get the, the front of the timing off, the motor's got to come out. So this is where I am at the minute. Um, the transmission that so-called didn't leak and ran great, absolutely pisses fluid out from the uh, fluid coupling. Uh, so it's all coming out. I don't know how to drop it exactly as regards to disconnecting the prop shaft but um, I'll give it a quick look this stuff you've been putting off the front right, body solid apart from what you see in this light it's got a hole in that front fender there uh, inside this one you probably can't see but Changed all the front, well, changed the front floors because they're rotten, to, take, to say the least, when your feet disappear through the floor, so that ought to come out. But anyway, today I've got to disconnect, oh, you can't even see it, can you? Disconnect this prop shaft, support the engine, support the trans, get it all unbolted, and get it ready for lifting. Um, yeah, yeah, I know the ropes don't look too safe, but I had chains on there. And I was a bit reluctant to go um, uh, bolting into places where I didn't have a great deal of thread. So and this rope's bloody strong. So I'll take the weight for it for a minute while I undo the bolts. And I'll probably wrap some chain on it just to be sure. But that's where I am, and I'll get back to you as to what happened, I guess. Laters. Right, okay, I got the uh, prop shaft out, which is relatively simple. We've got two of these on the rear of the shaft connecting to the uh, axle, and uh, so there's just four bolts. And the whole shaft then just sort of falls straight out of the back of the box. But uh, one thing I will remember to do next time, and that's make sure that the shaft has been 
turned round so it can be slid out. Otherwise, you've got half the two the, the two knuckles catching on the bottom of the car, and they won't go anywhere. And uh, obviously, the car's jacked up. I can't I can't rotate it at all. So that was kind of fun. Uh, next issue I've had, I've got the engine with the box attached, as you can see, uh, halfway out the car, and my bloody crane has failed me. I've wound it right in to take the two ton max, and uh, it keeps dropping, it's not holding the weight. So the engine is, is just sat on the sump and it's bouncing on the back of the transmission at the minute. Bit bloody dangerous, bit pissed off. Um, I don't know what to do. I've charged the crane up a couple of times, so I've made sure it's properly full of oil and air that has been expelled. Ah, I've just been a bastard. Alright, I'll give it another go and um, I'll get back. Okay, here we are again. Right, uh, the engine's a little bit further out. What I had to do, I took the bloody cylinder heads off, and there they are. And by Christ, are they ever heavy. But um, it still leaves this engine precariously perched on the front there, with the transmission stuffed on the end. You can't really see in this light, I know, but... So... I'm losing light, I'll come back tomorrow and have another go. Okay boys and girls, uh, good news is the bastard is out. Uh, top tip, buy a better crane than this because this is utterly shit. Um, everybody seems to be selling these online under one name or another. Uh, I'll tell you how bad it is. That. Their idea of English translation, I can read that, but that is taking the piss. Um, they've also got a threaded bolt in there to pivot that on, your hydraulics on, top and bottom, which is totally wrong. Um, but anyway, I have to do a lot of lifting, then bracing, dropping the jack, resetting it again and again and again and again and uh, eventually having the bollocks to pull the whole thing out I've got it braced up here for the minute and so I'm feeling brave enough to get it down the deck because it ain't going to stay there like that otherwise I'm going to come back here and it's going to be on the floor um, which is going to really piss me off but anyway there it is that is the jet away um I think it's the dual fluid coupling on that, I do believe, and it's a four-speed jetway. Um, this is its home, uh, which is going to need a lot of work to tidy it up. Um, I was originally not going to do a damn thing to this, it's going to get the car, set it, so I can do a transmission job on that little fella. Uh, but I am now stuck with it. I can't sell it as a non-runner. So I think it's... Now the motor's out, push it to the back of this building. And uh, as and when, over a few years, I think. And uh, see what happens. Anyway. Um, I'm going to have a look through this. Assess what needs to be doing. And... Uh, I don't know, go rob a bank or something. Anyway, if you're doing the same, good luck to you, and uh, buy a better crane. Right, I've started cleaning this uh, engine and trans up, and I've almost got shiny bits left. And you can just see the original green underneath that, which is what I like, and I like to keep that. So, um, look at all the crap that's come off of that. And that's just this quarter piece of a transmission. That's all that crap, just off that. Dear, oh dear. Oh well, onwards and upwards, isn't it? Here we are. It's got a little bit uh, cleaner, to say the least. It's still filthy dirty, but it's uh, awful lot cleaner. 
Uh, right, what I'm going to do now is uh, have a look at getting this transmission off. Um, the trans I drained on the car, but I know I haven't drained the coupling, so how much is going to end up on the floor, I, I don't know. I'll find out in a minute, won't I? Um, hey, all good fun. It's got to come off, because i got leaks all over the place. Um, when I ran the car, it absolutely poured out from the bottom of that coupling there. And I mean poured out when the engine was running, so all needs attention, all got to come out. So, happy days, let's get on with it. Right, as you can see, I've pulled this apart quite a bit. And I think i found my problem. And if you see this timing chain, it's down there falling off of here. I could, I could nearly pull that off. I think that slipped, and I'm not too short of timer markers. I don't know it's, you can see. I'm not too sure if it's that little indent there, and that one there. But aren't they supposed to be together? I don't know. I've got to research that one. But that could be why this thing just absolutely would not fire at all. And it wouldn't, if it was 180 degrees out, so um, that's answered that. So, uh, bloody deep joy. So, onwards and upwards, and I'll keep at it. 